uh welcome to r2e and this is me Ramon Jaman, and this is again we are here with Kleppner series and this is problem 3.3 of uh, daniel Kleppner and colin Kof. and what the problem says let's see so i have these two masses ma i mean sorry for the you know it's, it's not there in subscript but please understand so let's say i have two masses ma and mb as shown and mb is greater than ma now, the two blocks are pulled from rest as a massless uh, rope passing over a pulley. So you have a massless po uh, rope that is passing over a pulley and the pulley is further accelerating at an acceleration A, right? So the block MB slides on the table. So there's no friction between the block and the table without friction. And there is a constant friction F, small f, between MA and MB, all right? due to the relative motion find the tension in the rope all right so i need to find this tension in the rope all right great so first let us set up our coordinate system and then we'll talk about rest so this is let's say my frame and from here to here i have let's say this block is uh, located at xp and then i have lb and from here i have xa and then i have la <coughs> sorry uh, yeah and my first equation will go as x a plus l a is equals to x and my second equation goes as x b plus l b equals to again x so this implies that x a double dot plus l a double dot equals to capital a so capital a is the acceleration of the pulley again this implies that x b double dot plus oh sorry plus lb double dot is equals to a right great now there is an equation of constraint out there there is an equation of constraint which says that la plus lb is equals to l that is the length of this to this this to this is constant so this implies that la double dot equals to minus of lb double dot all right now huh, now let's make the free body diagrams which are, which are not that difficult for this so for ma this is ma and this is my tension and this is my frictional force and down there i have my uh, mag and up there there is my normal so definitely my ma x a double dot should be equal to my tension minus of my frictional force so my first equation and uh, now i'll write down my second equation that will be will go like mb and now i will have a frictional force in this direction and my tension in this direction so if this will goes as mb x b double dot is equal to tension plus frictional force all right now okay that's precisely clear to here and now let's do one thing now let's uh hmm. so x a double dot is tension minus f upon m now x b double dot is tension plus f over m and from these equations these equations i'll try to replace this and i'll get hmm, here a plus l a double dot equals to tension minus f upon m and here I will have A. Uh, okay, okay, I have to write. Sorry, 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 right. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Here I'll be having a negative sign. Yep. So it will be A minus LA double dot. And here it will be A plus LA double dot. So that will be tension plus F upon M. Now let's add these two. So there's MA and there's MB. So my acceleration, two times acceleration is tension upon MA plus tension upon mb minus of f upon ma plus f upon mb what i need is my tension so i can take these two on that side so that becomes tension times one upon ma plus one upon mb that will become 2a plus f common one upon mb minus of one upon ma yeah, great, great, wonderful. I'm having things right out here. And tension, okay, command Z, Z is MB plus MA. MB equals to 
to a plus f m a minus of m b divided by m a m b all right so now the tension goes as 2a m a m b divided by m b plus m a plus f and that will be m a minus of m b divided by m b plus m a so this is the k okay, the expression and with this i'm starting with my lines so this is the expression for tension in this uh in this problem thank you uh see you in the next video